So let's address a few things, right? Stall the calories, chill. Chill, you can't speak on, tough guy. You probably can have your input about what you know about Dodo, or what you know about Big U, or tweeting and all that, so you can't speak on that. Cause you don't know what's going on. You can tell you don't know what's going on when you say, I was just an artist. Artist what? Tough guys was owned by me, Victor, Dodo, and Tweet. All of us had a percentage in something. So everybody was boss, okay? First of all. Second of all, you said I wasn't carrying them sticks and all that like that. I ain't got to break my background up. Anybody know me know what's happening. But it's kind of crazy that I ain't had them sticks and all that, but we had a whole shop in the gallery. So I don't know where you was at. Who knows? But I guess I was just a rapper. But the reason why I say you can't speak on tough guys is because you, you don't know the whole story. You had a baby for Dodo Cousin and all that's fine. Cool that. That ain't got nothing to do with the story. You think that's what made you liable to speak on? So anybody who had babies for somebody can speak on the situation? Nah, but we ain't doing that. And you know what's up with me, Jill. The same way I know what's up with you, right? I can tell you some other cats you came with too. That was crazy. When you had got dropped off in the Noya or something, and you were talking about like you probably could have got with you, not on Willow, not on our watch. Tell the people, like if you was there, right? Why you couldn't get to him? Oh, cause we was outside. And in that time, you couldn't, couldn't touch gig in that project. You couldn't touch hot in that project. Like the Noya was our safe haven. Same with the Cali, it was y'all safe haven. Wasn't no coming back there doing nothing was not gonna happen, period. The same way you hold court behind Gig saying he came to Cali and could've touched him. I hold court about you coming in the Magnolia touching Gig. In that time, it couldn't happen. You probably did get dropped off back then. But you saw, you saw us out there. And you knew it wasn't no way you was gonna get to him without going through us. How you was gonna, even if you would've got to him, how you was gonna get from back there? It, that was a suicide mission. Like, tell the people the real, real. And y'all ain't getting no, y'all ain't getting no DJ in the Cali I mean, in the, the Magnolia. That was Dion out of the Cali who gave that, that DJ. So if we're going to talk about that DJ, that DJ was on my porch, 2810 Willow. Yeah, my porch. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. That was on my porch. 2810 Willow, I used to stay with Terry. Terry and Dion, they used to be together. Dion was out of Cali. So they gave a DJ. Y'all ain't getting no DJ to try to get no gig. And soon as Dion gave that DJ, you think we ain't know what was going on? You think we ain't know the Cali would probably come back there? It wasn't going to have one. We was out there like the army. And it wasn't just because gig, it was because there wasn't no violations in our project. It was not going to happen. See, one thing about us in that Magnolia was this, right? You could do anything you want on the house. And you can come back to the project because that was your safe haven. Because you know one thing, you was not going to be touched when you came in that Magnolia. So we probably didn't know your safe, but we knew you wasn't from back there. So, boy, that wasn't going to happen. Like, was not going to happen. Period. OG.